Pass. Introducing the Quad Peak Animation System, or QPOS. The QPOS is a four core stereo analog multimode filter. We recommend using headphones while watching this video. The QPOS consists of four filter cores with resonant peaks, each with four response types, all available simultaneously. Low pass lets by frequencies below the cutoff. Band pass lets by frequencies near the cutoff. High pass lets by frequencies above the cutoff. The new filter type is Smile Pass, whose filter response changes depending on the cutoff and radiate settings, resulting in relatively constant output amplitude regardless of these settings. The QPOS's inputs and outputs are normalized so that it can be patched for mono to mono, mono to stereo, stereo to stereo, or stereo to mono, depending on which ins and outs you patch. Let's talk about the peaks. All four cores share a center cutoff frequency set by the frequency control and CV input. Turning up the Q control feeds the bandpass outputs back into the filter's inputs, setting the height of the four peaks. However, each peak's frequency is further affected by the radiate controls. Each radiate spreads two of the four peaks relative to the setting of frequency. Because each pair of peaks is routed to a different side of the stereo output for each filter type, the two radiate controls are named radiate left and radiate right. Modulation of both creates stereo animation for any signal. There's also a normalization for modulating both radiate controls with just the left radiate CV input. And you can scale and invert them individually with the attenuverters. The radiate parameters allow for two completely different filter modulation characters that are independent of themselves and the main cutoff control. All parameters are fully voltage controllable and respond to audio rate modulation. The QPOS has a stereo VCA on the input. A traditional signal path would put the VCA after the filter, but the QPOS VCA is pre-filter, so the filter can ring out even after the source is attenuated. The level control input reaches unity gain at about 2 o'clock, so you can turn it up beyond that to boost the input signal if you like. The low-pass filter can also go low enough to act similar to a VCA for most situations if the radiate controls are turned down. The inputs provide an additional modulation destination. They respond to nearly any clock, gate, or audio rate signal and have an effect on most elements of the QPOS circuit. Each input affects both outputs, but they each have their own character. I'm not a man of the world, 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 I'm not a man of the world,
The QPAS is also pingable, meaning that patching a trigger to an input with a higher Q setting will result in the filters momentarily opening at their cutoff frequencies with a pleasant decay. Higher Q setting, longer decay. Sequencing frequency gives us a melody. Or try audio rate frequency modulation. QPAS is versatile. You could use it to add subtle motion to something static like a morphogene loop. QPAS is versatile. You could do traditional acid with it. But thanks to the quad filters, we can add stereo animation. Here we have the level turned all the way up, which can drive the filter hard or even cause distortion for effect. Stay tuned for many more patch and sound examples, and visit MakeNoiseMusic.com for more information.